Hello everyone, welcome back to Rapid Scan 3D uh, webinar. Today we're going to go over the ScanTech Viewer uh, measurement tool and how to extract cylinders and radius and diameters. So I have this uh, VW part. We're going to carefully scan it, making sure we capture all the geometry. I'm scanning top and bottom because I want to capture those four holes. Once I complete my scan data, we're going to clean up the mesh and then merge it and create one single uh, mesh data. I'm carefully scanning all the areas. If you need to apply some ASUS spray uh, for shiny parts, Feel free to do that. And now we're going to select these points. Once my selection is completed, I'm going to apply. And then OK. And the process is completed. Now we're going to zoom in. making sure that our part is completed. And we're going to mesh it. Once we have the full mesh data, we have options here. It's called a cylinder that we can create these features. And if you want to change your selection tool, you can always go back to um, edit and then change the selection tool to lasso and go right back where we left it. We're going to select these internal cylindrical areas. Don't worry about it. If you didn't, if you select something that you shouldn't be, uh, you can always click uh, control press and then reselect that area and it will deselect. Once you complete it, just want to make sure everything is selected. Now we have the cylinder. Right click and we can see the diameter of the cylinder that we fit in. It's very useful for a quick uh, inspection. The next thing what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to put three points and then create another plane uh, at the bottom section tool again and this time we're going to select the plane and calculate. I know it doesn't show the full section view of it. The reason is probably part is warped or worn out. So in this case uh, we're just gonna take one cylindrical shape and we're gonna select it and we're gonna fit the circle. And select fitting create there are several options here we're gonna go over them in the next few other uh, tutorials and then we're gonna check the diameter now we do have the solid work file what I'm gonna do I'm going to check in but before 
as you notice, there are chamfers there. So it captured the outer rim of the chamfer. And you can always see the deviation, but how far you're off from the actual mesh data. So we're going to go back and then measure it. It is actually really close. So as I said, it might be a war and tear. And I'm going to also check the diameter of that cylinder. And we can always go back and then right there. And we have two informations that we can extract very quickly. As I said before, it could be around fillets put on or it's wear and, wear and tear uh, at the edges. So these type of stuff always happens. Uh, just make sure your part is manufactured properly. These are the stuff that you can always uh, utilize the uh, Scantech viewer to extract these information. Once you complete, we can move on to the next item. And we scan this part on 0.5 millimeter resolution so it's not the the highest it's not the lowest so kind of averaged out the next thing what we're gonna do we're gonna put another plane uh, this is arbitrary I'm just gonna basically create a plane I just want to see what that radius is we're gonna go ahead and section it again Select that plane, and then create. Now we have the circle. Once we select that area, very quickly with the lasso tool I'm going to change that to fitting and create. I click OK. Now I have the circle one. Now I'm checking the di diameter 104. It's really close. We capture really close geometry. Now we're going to go back to, again, quickly fit it, circle around that area. Now I have the information that I was looking for. I can always do evaluate. And select that surface that's a radius that's multiplied by 2 that's about 104 by 0.56 ish so you can do a minimum maximum distance once you finish you can extract these information to your Excel sheet and or you can send these information to a manufacturing department and then you can uh, inform them how their manufacturing processes uh, varies from uh, yours to theirs and then
you can continue your project. Let's just do a quick calculation times two, 105, 18. As I said, my plane is not 100% perpendicular to that area. You can always create the new plane at the edge and then you can extract that dimension. So these are the quick inspection reports and you can definitely utilize these tools and create much more accurate uh, dimensional reports. So thank you very much for joining us. And uh, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to call us or email us. Thank you.